I bet I've got your attention. 1969 Chevelle SS396 four-speed convertible with a pearl white interior, big block, uh, vintage air conditioning. This is just a great cruise night quality car. Go drive in, go enjoy this thing. Go to volocars.com to read all the information and study all the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find the price tag along with a monthly finance option that's on every one of the cars we have for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and then click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, it tops down. Let's go for a spin. So the underneath the car is exceptional. It's not a nut and bolt. This is not that you know trailer queen type car, but underneath is really good. Everything is proper. It's, it's where it's supposed to be. It's all clean. Uh, it has the F41 suspension, which is front and rear sway bars, box rear control arms. The front end looks like it's all been rebuilt. All the bushings and ball joints and components look real fresh. The shocks have been replaced all the way around. Uh, it's got a dual exhaust system with Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, you'll hear it towards the end of the video. Um, does it have the tips? Nope, the tailpipes are tucked up under the quarters. Um, <clears throat> disc brakes in front, drum in back, uh, e-brake e assemblies hooked up. Matter of fact, I think we put that on there. We spent about $3,800 in our own shop, uh, rebuilt starter, rebuilt the carb, e-brake cables. Uh, I don't know everything offhand, but uh, we went through this car. It's serviced, ready to go. You look up at the motor, the motor is clean. There's some dents in the oil pan, uh, but it's clean. It does have an M20 Muncie four-speed. Uh, we did replace the Hurst shift linkage. That's all new. Uh, it does have a 12-bolt uh, rear end in the back. The fuel tank fuel system looks like it's been replaced. It's not brand new, but it's not, not from 1969 either. Fuel lines, brake lines look like they've been replaced also. So not brand new underneath, but really good. The floors are really nice. Floors, frame rails, all that look like nice, clean metal, painted black. Now let's check out the body. Uh, SS hood, lines up square, flush, fits really nice. I don't see any dents, damage, no issues at all with the body. Looking down the side of the car, I don't see a ripple, I don't see a dent. Uh, all nice and clean, all nice, smooth, no bubbles down there, fits very well. No rust, no damage, no issues. Nice, clean wheel well lip right here. Clean along the bottom. The body's looking really good. All straight, square, fits real nice. On both sides, it has that hairline crack that I tell you about. All convertibles, uh, almost all of them get that right there. It's where there's a factory splice, and it, it twists. Uh, clean along the bottom. This side's looking just as good. Yeah, that door fits flush, square, no bubbles, no blisters. I don't see any bad body work. I'm really happy with the body, folks. Uh, it's painted very attractive Le Mans blue. The metal flake looks like it's all even. It's all one color all the way around. Polished very smooth and glossy. Uh, now I'm sure it's got a few imperfections. I see a little Oh, that's a piece of dirt. Never mind. It's all looking really good, polished really sharp. But I did notice the paint is chipped up right here. You got to be careful when you open these hoods. It's the corner of the hood. When the hood comes up, they're close. And if it's twisted at all or, or you're, you're closing it from one side, that's how that happens. So the edge of the fender is chipped up right there. It has the SS stripe down the side. These are a decal. That's how they were. But there's a piece missing right there and a little one right there. Actually, a few little chips on that front stripe. <clears throat> but the paint's looking really sharp. A piece of dirt. So there might be another minor flaw that I've missed. There's like a line. I th I'm pretty sure it'll polish off. Uh, but yeah, paint's really sharp. Again. Couple pieces of dirt. Now the chrome. 
Marker lights look new, bumper looks new, tail lights have been replaced, but there's a few little pits, so they're not brand new. The SS trim with the blacked out panel, the uh, SS emblems, that all looks new. SS wheels, they look like an original set of wheels. Uh, they're decent, they're not brand new, they're not restored, but they, they look good. Door handles uh, been replaced, the mirrors replaced. The stainless trim looks very good. Windshield's crystal clear. That looks new. The chrome grills look new. The trim on the back of the hood. The emblems look new. Let's see what the front end looks like. Marker lights, emblem have been replaced. The bumper, all this trim, everything up front here looks like that's been replaced. So the outside of the car looks really slick. Uh, now let's open it up and see what it looks like inside and under the hood. All right, let's look at the trunk. Under the trunk lid's painted real nice as a working trunk light. The jam is painted real slick, weather strip is replaced. Trunk compartments, all clean metal, all spatter painted real nicely. Well liners replaced. There's a folder, miscellaneous receipts, there's ceramic brake pads and alternator, things like that. So we'll leave that in the car. Door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips and window seals were replaced. Door panels, uh, it's a pearl white interior. The door panels and armrest pads were replaced. The dash pad up on top here has a little crack. It's, it's smooth, so you don't really see it. Uh, it does have the uh, gauges, the tachometer with the gauges. They all work. It has a clock that does not work. Uh, we replaced the power top switch. Upgraded vintage air controls, so they're electric, not the old cables. It's a retro stereo. Uh, down below, you can see the interior lights all work. Carpets replaced, a new, brand new shifter, has the correct uh, console, good shape, few light scratches. The seats were reupholstered, again it's the pearl color, headrests are reupholstered. The plastic's in real good shape, they painted it, a little bit wrong color, but uh, all the backs reupholstered, the armrest, seat, top boot. Uh, original seat belts are a little bit, a little bit dingy. And then uh, there's supposed to be a, a, a track that this slides into. It's missing, missing a lot of cars. So you may want to get that. It just looks nicer when the boot is tucked in the way it's supposed to be. So again, overall, this is a very good car. This is not, not the hundred thousand dollar plus nut and bolt restoration, that's a sharp looking car. I think most people would be very impressed by it. So this is a 1969 396 motor. Uh, it's built like a 375 horsepower. This little bump right here means it has the big rectangular port heads. And then this is the matched aluminum GM intake with the snowflake on it. And underneath that air cleaner has a dual feed Holly car, but the correct uh, fuel line. This is the correct air cleaner, valve covers, correct exhaust manifolds. Distributor looks real nice. It even has uh, date coated reproduction spark plug wires. The engine bay is painted up nicely. Uh, spring clamp battery cables reproduction uh, hoses and, and clamps right here as the shroud clutch fan was replaced uh, the horns look new new air conditioning has power steering power brakes new wiper motor the squirters look like they're hooked up so again very uh, very respectable
So there you have it. I wouldn't take your time on this one. Again, the colors, the options, big block four-speed convertible. And this is the car everyone wants, this and a Camaro. So go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it. As long as 144 months, you can get a nice small payment. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, click on the uh, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and then click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Again, thanks for watching.